Rules. All right, Kala, I tell you what, you've got something to announce, mate. You've just announced that E Heavyweight World Boxing Super Series. That looks brilliant, mate. So why don't you talk to me about that while I've got you? Yeah, look, we know it's troubling times for everyone at the moment. We're just trying to trying to make the most out of trying to keep people entertained with some content. We came up with the idea. We loved it. We said, look, we, we can't obviously announce uh, any other fights at the moment. So we came up with this idea, the Heavyweight Legends, um, eight of the greatest heavyweights. It's based on the old EA Sports Fight Night Champion game. So the choice is when people come, there's a lot of, been a lot of banter about who should be in the eight. We're down to also what the game actually played out. So there are a couple of names that people wanted in. They can't be in because they weren't on the game. Uh, Larry Holmes, for example, can't be in, wasn't on the game. So uh, the, the lineup, which I think they just sent out about five minutes ago, but you can have it now, is uh, number one seed, Ali, obviously. Number two, Mike Tyson. Number three, Lennox Lewis. Number four, Big George Foreman. Uh, that's on the seeded side of the draw, which will be made at five o'clock UK time today by myself, hopefully professionally. <laughs> and uh, and the other side of the draw is uh, Joe Fraser, Evander Holyfield, David Hay, and a very big curveball due to popular demand. Big popular demand. Can you guess it? Big. Philip Hargovich. <laughs> no, big. Big. Think big. big. Yeah, part of me. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds great, mate. That sounds really good. Well, when that would be a short fight. <laughs> you've, you've managed to pick Butterbean, who's probably the only heavyweight in so, worse so, shape than me. Yeah, well, you know, we want to make everyone feel good about themselves, so I thought right, I'd Callum, throw him in. While I've got you, mate, you're the only promoter that I'm going to have on this one. Oh, is that an exclusivity clause Fair that enough. my guys right, have you're got you're the only in. one I'm going to have on this fight, so, tell me how the coronavirus has affected things from a promoter's point of view and how much of a, of a pain in the ass this whole thing is for you and your business. Fuck me, you've only got, we've only got 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> uh, it's, 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 it's like having, a, having a, a bread shop and suddenly having no flour, right? There's nothing going on. It's dead. There's not, it's like, there's not even planning because how are you supposed to plan? You can't plan around something we could now say, okay, we're going to do, you know, for us, obviously, a big part is the season three, uh, which we were far down the planning, ready for announcements. It's, it's all it's all dead. It's all, you know, I don't want to put a, put a horrible face on it, but at the moment, nothing going on because everything you do right now is, is not a waste of time, but it, it, it's not taking you anywhere. So right now, we just got to get through this, watch what the government advice is, uh, don't be an expert yourself. A lot of these are killing me looking online at some of these idiots who, who have got nothing to do with being an expert coming out with this expert advice. You know, um, we shouldn't be doing none of that. We should be sitting back and listening to instructions. You know, I don't like rules, but at the moment we've got to follow rules. If Callis Sowland is telling people to follow the rules, that means you absolutely have to follow the rules. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you've been around first, the it's, a, it's a first for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're from a boxing family. Your dad's a Hall of Fame promoter. Yeah. He's been around. The Sowland name has been around in boxing for years and years and years. Have you ever encountered anything remotely like this in all of your family history in the sport? Listen, you know, I don't think that any... Uh, people who, who went through the war uh, maybe had similar experiences. There was an enemy that that was being fought. You know, this is this has never happened. Forget boxing. Forget boxing families. Forget any the the shit that has hit the fan and is hitting the fan and is gonna hit the fan is uh you know it is what it is and it, it it's it's never been it's just never been seen before, has it? So once again, we just got to go with a ride. You know, it's as horrible as it sounds. Um, the, the, you know the only the only bit of good news is if, if you if you if you're young and healthy it, it's not it doesn't seem to be too bad but it's terrible for, you know like vulnerable ones around us you know it's about looking after them at the moment it really is you know and it's uh listening to the advice being given by the people who are the real experts and not the uh online fucking blogger whatever experts you know mm. Uh, getting a few questions coming in here. Uh, when does Philip Hergovic fight for a world title? Obviously, I appreciate you can't really plan it now, but a rough time <laughs> <laughs> oh, as soon as this, as soon as this 
uh, virus is out of the way. We'll be back on track with things. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, it, I think the way he was progressing, you would have said probably sometime 2021. Um, where does this all set us back to? I don't know. What, what happens with the mandatories, you know? I haven't heard from the federations on the mandatories yet, but they don't even know what's happening either, so don't blame them. But the mandatory situations, do the mandatory periods get extended now? You know, if you just had your mandatory, <coughs> um, you know, what happens from then? You know, you go straight into another mandatory. You know, it's 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 all it's all up in the air. But we don't know whether this is a break. Look, we don't know whether it's a break of a of of a month or two. You know, we we've moved the final uh, the, the the cruiserweight final to uh, to May 16, but that's a, that's a pretty provisional date. You know, I mean, we were like, okay, the ban ends in Latvia. It's in Riga uh, on April uh, April 13 or 14, I think it is. So we said, okay, give us another buffer of a month. But that was 10 days ago. Now it really looks, you know, it, it, we don't know. You know, what happens when it, when we hit 30 degrees here and there's a heat wave? Does that kill the virus off? We don't know. We don't know. We just, we're we we're in, uh, in God's hands, you know? Before we let you go, Calla, uh, yeah, we're going to try and crack a couple more questions out. Um, why aren't the Klitschko's involved in the EWBSS? Well, they're not involved. <laughs> they were not on the uh, they were not on the list that was given to me to pick from from our technical department. Bearing in mind the technical department and me are very two very different entities. It took me about ten minutes to work out how to get on this live discussion with you, uh, but I'm very proud of myself. In isolation, without the help of anyone, I made it on here. So uh, you asked the technical people, but uh, it was we we got. Limit, we were list, limited to about, I think, 12, 13 names, and Klitschko wasn't on there. But, yeah, could have been. Larry Holmes, I see someone just popping up there with Larry Holmes. Again, Larry Holmes was not on the list. Larry Holmes would have made my top four. And uh, Just before I let you go, mate, I haven't actually spoken to you since Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. Talk to me about the fight. I know you're, you're a Fury fan. Um, what did you make of his win over Deontay Wilder? I was, it was sensational for Tyson and for myself as well because I picked it. I picked the round, I picked the win, I picked the knockout. So I was very happy with myself on that as well. But no, joking aside, amazing. Amazing for the sport. He's, he's, he's become a real ambassador. I think everyone is dying now to see the big one, of course. Um, you know, even without all the virus uh, thing going on, that, that's still a while away, in my opinion. They've both got fights they need to get through, tough fights they need to get through, interesting fights they need to get to. And... Um, Due to the virus, it's all these things all up in the air, you know, Rob? Mm. Well, we wait with bated breath and hopefully we're not going to be on lockdown for too much longer. But do appreciate you stopping by, Calla. Thanks very much, mate. Look forward to the uh, EWBSS. Uh, big fan of the Fight Night Games, as I'm sure a lot of people are in yeah, this chat. Rob, so well, let, let's, all, let's all get into it. I hope, I hope it makes up for a little bit for everyone not being able to watch boxing at the moment and uh, help with those withdrawal symptoms. Everyone stay safe. Peace out. Cheers, Calla. Thanks, mate.